Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter, and today we're going to tie a kind of unique style nymph that utilizes one of these tungsten teardrops um, that's sold by Wapsi. And they're a great way to add a lot of weight to a smaller nymph. So they work really well when you when tied this way in, in some of the new techniques that we're starting to see from Europe like French nymphing and Spanish nymphing. This particular pattern has been very, very productive for me the last two seasons and is great in that you don't have to add a lot of weight to your line. Almost all the weight's inherent right in the fly. To get started, we're going to start with some 70 denier thread. We're just going to wrap a base layer of thread behind the eye of the hook. Trim off our excess. You can take a little bit of zap a gap. Lay it on that thread. And we're going to take that tungsten teardrop. You can see there's a long slit in it. That helps you get it around the bend of the hook. But we're going to lay that slit down. I'm going to let that zap a gap set up a little bit. Notice we're leaving a little bit of room here behind the eye of the hook. And we want to just let that zap a gap set that in place for a few seconds. That's set up a little bit now. We're going to take a little additional zap a gap and just put it right in that little cavity there. Holy smokes, that's a lot of zap a gap. We'll suck up that extra zap a gap there. Okay. I'll let that set a little bit more. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a wing case on this fly. And for wing case, we're actually going to do this a little bit backwards because we're going to do the front of the fly first. And then we'll pull the wing case back over the back of the fly. So what we're going to use for this wing case is some black floral fiber from Spirit River. And what we're going to do is we're going to tie that down in front of that tungsten teardrop. And notice what I did is I left some extra black flora fiber hanging off the front of the hook. What I'm going to do with that extra flora fiber is divide that into two clumps Fold that back and make legs on either side. Of the fly, just tying down each side. So once I've got those legs tied in, I'm going to go ahead and half hitch or whip finish. In this case, I'll just throw a couple half hitches in for now. Got enough zap a gap on there to kind of secure everything. Now we'll switch to the back of the hook. I just started my thread behind that teardrop. I'm going to go ahead and get a base there. Now what I'm going to do is pull that flora fiber back. Kind of mine my legs there tie that down caught my legs up a little bit let's fold those legs a little more forward and I'll trim that flora fiber off so now we've got the front half of the fly essentially done we can finish the rest of the fly by going to the back of the hook we'll take our tailing fibers now. I'll tie those in to make a tail. I'm using kind of my favorite tailing fiber which is the Coq de Leon. What's nice about this is it has nice speckling like partridge but is far more durable. Tie that in at the back. About a hook shanks in length. 
Go ahead and trim that off. And then we'll tie in a little silver wire for a rib. We'll tie that silver wire in just along the length of the abdomen. Again, just kind of make sure you work around those legs. Now you can do a thread body fly, but I like to give the fly just a little bit of sparkle by using a little bit of a ice dub for the thorax, or for the abdomen, excuse me. So we'll dub a very fine noodle of ice dubbing. We'll start wrapping that ice dubbing back by the tail. I'm using a dark brown ice dubbing. You could use a black or an olive or whatever color matches the, the color of nymph you're, you're trying to imitate. We'll wrap right up to the back of that tungsten thorax and then we'll go through and finish the abdomen by ribbing with our silver wire. Teardrops are available in a few different sizes. This is a size 14 hook. And generally, I tie this fly on a size 16 or 18 hook using the next size smaller teardrop. This is a size small, I believe teardrop and I use the extra small on 16s and 18s. So now I've dubbed in and ribbed that abdomen. Now we can just go ahead and throw in a few more half hitches here to finish the fly. So there we have a tungsten thorax utilizing those teardrops which gives you lots more weight than just a single tungsten bead. We've got a little bit of flash that comes from that flora fiber and a little extra flash in the abdomen from the ice dub. A tremendously effective pattern. Just remember not to use quite as much zappa gap as I did when you're gluing that thorax down. But um, I've had tremendous success with this, uh, tied in sizes 14 on down to 18. And I've been fishing it increasingly in kind of the French or Spanish nymphing style and doing very well with this fly. So give these uh, teardrops a try. Again, I'm Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. And you can check this video and others out at flyfishsd.com. And if you need the materials to tie this fly, we sell them at flyfishsd.com. Thanks for watching.